let me tell you about Jeffrey. My name is Jeffrey Lee, I'm 13 and I play piano. What does the piano mean to you? Uh, the piano means quite a lot to me since I can just like uh, get away whenever I have a bad day. So I can just like plug in my headphones. <laughs> first impression of playing the piano? Uh, it was very difficult and like I need like a lot of finger strength like specifically on these fingers. My f first pieces were actually from uh, a game and I just wanted to learn the piano but classical pieces just got on my recommended. He is a self-taught musician who has taught himself to play music on the piano using animated music notes. For me personally, I have never seen any student in the world learn the piano in the manner in which Jeffrey has done. In a way, like me playing Tetris sort of correlates to me playing piano, since the way I use it is not normal. If you're like playing piano with like normal sheet music, because I use like a visualizer with notes dropping down, so I can just read the notes easy. It's basically just notes falling down. It wasn't supposed to be made for like learning pieces like as difficult as that. I didn't do traditional because I basically had already started using the visualizer and I didn't want to stop using it. But like now I'm starting to like have like piano lessons and I'm actually learning how to read notes. So I can use both right now. How do people of today's generation, for example young people, learn how to read music through computer animation? Well, many of you are playing computer games. So from your experience of playing computer games, you have a far greater ability to interpret animated music. For myself, I learned how to play using traditional notation. But for Jeffrey, he uses animated music. He also has a piano teacher who works very hard to get Jeffrey to read uh, notated music, but animated music is his favorite way of learning how to play the piano. How can games such as Tetris improve the creativity and learning ability of pianists? Games such as Tetris can actually improve the ability of musicians. Uh, it allows more cognitive function of the brain to be more precise and fast, and it helps the brain engage in the flow state and simultaneously process lots of information, which is extremely important for both hands to play the piano simultaneously. Many scientific studies have also concluded that Tetris players are able to problem solve and grasp onto spatial reasoning tasks much faster, making Tetris an excellent method for pianists to practice. Quite often you will see Jeffrey in a practice room or a classroom, lunch times, before school, any minute he has, this kid is practicing. I probably at least want to get like, like some type of job out of piano. In addition to Jeffrey learning how to play music using annotated music, he also has a great ear for music. So some people can hear music and play it on the piano straight away. Jeffrey has that talent. For me, I can hear music, I can guess where the notes are, and I might need to read the music notes, but for Jeffrey, he can see it, recognize it, and take it straight to the piano. So that's an example of having perfect pitch. So when you combine perfect pitch with a great ability to learn new ideas really quickly, and most importantly, a passion for music, then you can learn anything, whether it be the piano, flute, trombone or violin. But as Jeffrey is showing us, it can be done. I'm loving it.